Hi guys, it's Andrew here from Easton Made Wood Splitters today and welcome back to the Easton Made channel. Um, I've been at this game for, for, for quite a while here now with the Bell processors and uh, and the Easton Made products, probably, probably around 14 years now, 14, 15 years I would say, in and around that time range, range of building equipment and uh, running this type of business. What I found with it is you kind of have two, two stages. You have a growth of the business and then you have growth of the product and hopefully if you have enough resources you can manage to do both of those things at the same time over last year we've uh <laughs> we've been working on both of them quite a bit and we've been trying our best to run them run them together um however we're at the point now where we're, we're in the growth of the product like the business itself we've put a lot of time a lot of effort into structuring it getting stuff organized, getting parts coming, all that kind of stuff to make sure that stuff is happening. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna continue to grow our products. We're gonna continue to make better products, to try new things, to redesign things that we've wanted to do in the past. That's the stage that we're in right now. And as you can see from the last couple of videos, that's exactly what we're doing. If something maybe isn't working quite right or we're not quite entirely happy with something, we're taking the time to nip it in the butt and fix it and do as good of a job of these things as we can so we can deliver you guys the very best fired equipment on the planet. That, that's the goal here, guys, is to make the very best equipment that we can. And this is a this is another good example of this. this is our axe, our Easton made axis. The one uh, the one complaint or one irritation that we've got from just about everybody that's had one of these is just the bottom of the conveyor not picking up a piece of wood. If you throw one in there, they'll eventually get their way up there. Well, this is one thing that we've had comments on from just about everybody they do they work well yeah 100 percent they do um the conveyor is meant to load like a small dump trailer pickup truck uh ibc tow stuff like that that's what the conveyor is meant for on the axe it gets the wood away from you that's ideally what it's supposed to and meant to do so as you can see with this we've done well exactly pretty well the exact same thing we did on the attached conveyor but we did it on the axis conveyor here now. You can see that we have a tooth along the front of it here that's part of the forming and then we have a couple of our little spikes climbing up it. And after running this for, for a couple of minutes here, it works It works great guys. It's a significant improvement. Um, all of the new alters that are going out, I think there's a couple in the yard here that don't have this chain on it yet. Um, but going forward here, we're gonna try and do this chain on all of them. I think this is gonna be be the way to do it and this is one of those things like we've had we've had customers in the past comment about oh why why wasn't that on mine why wasn't why didn't you do that before well guys this is no different than buying a ford truck or a gm or buying any other product we're continually improving our products it's just honestly more or less the luck of the draw in this case whether or not you get that particular chain on or not we're gonna try and do it on everything we got um, however, if you don't get it, that's just part of it. That's part of life, guys. Um, and same as uh, customers that have these machines. If you want one of these, like, we can sell you one of these chains. But um, we're going to be selling you a chain. It's not. It's not really a warranty thing. I don't think it's. Uh, the other chains work well. They take wood up them all right. But we're improving them. We're trying to do better for future customers to try and make sure that we have the best products going forward. That's the goal here, guys. Anyways, I'll fire this up. I'll show you how it works anyways, and uh, leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think. Um, I'll run some of these pieces to show you. Got, to, got a bit of everything here, some variety. Show you is what's going on. Um, anyways, guys, I really appreciate everybody's feedback and support that we got. It really does mean the world to us. It helps us continue to build better products. It helps us continue to do better. Um, and like I said, if you have any, any questions, leave them in the comments below. I'll do my best to answer them for you. I'll go ahead and get this fired up. Thanks a lot, guys.
Well, guys, as you can see, that is a significant improvement to that axis log splitter. If you're looking at one of these log splitters, these things perform incredibly well. Uh, the vertical machines, they're, they're very, very precise. If you have a picky clientele and you need to have perfect, pretty wood, pretty splits all of the time, one of these vertical machines is the way to go. And they really, uh, they really do work well. They produce a lot of wood in a hurry. Um, they're not quite as fast as a horizontal, but they'll split just about anything you want and uh, they perform well. Anyways, guys, if you liked the video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button down on the, uh, down on the bottom. As always, I really appreciate everybody's support. Leave me some feedback. Let me know what you think. Really hope to see you on the next one. Take care, guys.